A murder suspect behind bars tonight, but detectives say they still don't have a motive for the shooting. Jeremy Harris live on this story for us. And after hours of questioning, Jeremy, what do we know about this suspect? Heidi, we know his name is Jeffrey Shepard. He's now here in the Salt Lake County Jail facing charges of murder and aggravated robbery. Police say he admitted to killing Matthew Holt, but as for why he may have done it, that question remains unanswered. The head detective called us at four o'clock this morning. It was the phone call Earl Holt has been waiting for. Matthew was an only child. Detectives were on the line with news that an arrest had been made in his son Matthew's murder. They worked their tails off, I tell you, they did. Police say Jeffrey Shepard admitted to shooting Matthew, but detectives haven't said how or why Shepard and Holt met in the industrial park that Sunday. We hold no vengeance, we just, we just don't want we just didn't want this to happen to someone else. Matthew lived with his parents through years of medical treatments. They told us the day he was born that he probably wasn't going to live, but we we always figured it was going to be a medical problem, you know, and then, then something like this happens. After Matthew's death, his cousins gave the family this statue of a little boy reading a book. It now sits in the garden, a reminder of the son they lost. Everyone that knew Matthew liked me. Never hurt nobody. He was, he was just, he was just a good man. That's all it was. So it was just a shock, just a total shock. This was a very intense investigation for detectives and coming up at six o'clock, we talked with the detectives about how they actually were able to track the suspect down. They'd been going through every single silver Chevy Sonic in the state before they found him. And it was perhaps by chance that they came across their suspect. We'll have that tonight in about an hour on two news at six. Back to you. Jeremy, we'll see you then.